All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, speed gaming fans around the globe. I'm WXFan21, joined by the man, the myth, the legend himself. It is Aussie the Great. What's up, Aussie? Uh, not much. Uh, doing pretty good for a really nice uh, map rando race here today. We have some uh, the next set of upper bracket matches. As to say, the next round of matches. We're into winners' quarterfinals now. So Simo and Nitro. Uh, so it should be a really good race. Uh, they have both absolutely like uh, came first in big lobbies. Uh, so this can go either way. They've been but either way, it should be a good race. Oh, absolutely! Like since being part of this community since last year, I, in my opinion. Nitro is probably a top 10 rando racer. Aussie, obviously, being one of the others. I'd put Zeb up there. I'd put Oats up there. And Sima, we have seen just outright dominate so far in this tournament. And we get an immediate team right versus team left, Aussie. Yep. Or did the delay? Let's fix that. Team left going to get the early vi victory. And of course, we're joined by the other man myth and legend himself. It's Hockey Towner on the tracking gimmick. Yep. Still saving up his energy, powering up for when Hockey uh, comes on to comms, talks us through Matt Brando. I mean, pretty much. We all know that is going to be, without a doubt, the most watched rando seed of all time. It's going to have like 20,000 viewers, and that's just at a bare minimum. <laughs> uh, see, we're into a interesting start to the seed. Uh, I think we've seen in most seeds, uh, the runners have run into a major item by now. As in, like, the first two doors, you have a major. But yep. this is having, like, run through various hubs find different rooms and just not get items so this is gonna be an interesting one yeah we got our first missile pack here for simo nitro's got an energy tank yeah the energy tank uh, it's usually important it's very convenient to have but it's also usually important and it's in a place that's a little bit hard to get back to Except that in a lot of these seeds, you have to run past the, the ship a couple of times. Uh, but we're just looking for where to go. A lot of dead ends. Yeah. And I guess as you're running through rooms, you're taking note of what's required to continue through a dead end. For later. Uh, using missiles is a little bit dangerous when you only have five, because now you can't open a pink door. Seems that the Meridia door might be the play. We still have upper red tower here. Oh, hello! <laughs> Early gravity suit. Simo. Simo, just gonna leave it just, there for now. Do you just not want the pancakes? And I think Nitro Nitro's thinking the same thing. I'm sorry. Did the pancakes insult both of you? Oh, and here's a water room too. Okay, this enemy does drop missiles pretty pretty often, so it seems okay. Uh, both of them, really. They both used all their missiles before looking for the pink door that was open. Mm -hmm. And Morph Ball is the first item. Hooray! You know, only if they had this thing called Gravity Suit where they could have got there sooner. <laughs> right. So logically, <laughs> it wants you to jump uh, directly to the left ledge and not to the wall jump. So the wall jump into Main Street isn't in logic and hard, and so I always try to look for what is actually intended. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. I'm missing something very obvious. Couldn't get the gravity suit without Morph Ball. That is correct. So there's a couple of items that are like the bottom tile, and you can't actually touch it without Morph Ball. I mean, Samus really wanted to. She could kick the gravity suit, kick the pancakes, and then just absorbs it, but... 
I digress. Now they're both gonna go back for gravity. Pick that up. Of course. And then continue. And also just sit back, relax, and enjoy the speed at which these racers are going to be racing. I'll get to enjoy all my channel points from betting on gravity. Well done, Aussie. Thank you all for making Aussie even richer. I feel like we've seen early gravity more often in a lot of these. It does make a lot of sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like over the last several I've calmed, gravity has been, if there's an early suit, it's been gravity. Yep. Sometimes so. there's also been an early varia, but even then, a lot of the time it's gravity before that. Yeah. So, Avery pointing out in chat that there is a lot of stuff going on on Speed Gaming tonight. There's Metroid Prime there Echoes tournament going on. We've got the... Uh, there's a lot of uh, Super Metroid racers right now competing in the Map Random Weekly. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. A lot of active Speed Gaming channels. Yep, the Weekly didn't get a, a restream this week. Sorry. It doesn't always get restreams when we have a tournament race going on at the same time. Uh, plus, yeah. there's all those other tournament matches that are happening. I mean, I looked at it, and I'm like, I can commentate one of these. I feel <laughs> like I want to commentate the tournament race. <laughs> With all due respect to the community race, like, this is this is a tournament, plus, it, and I know we want to get a few and Nitro, so yeah, we want to see this. Exactly! Simo has to reset, unfortunately. Uh, probably just saving time with the reset. But lost the items, so actually, uh, not so good. Nope. This is gonna put Nitro back in the lead. Or in the lead for the first time, rather. Yeah. So we did see Coliseum, and Gravity Suit also lets you through that. And Nitro up to two E-Tanks. Emo hasn't found any yet. With two E-Tanks, they could go through the single chamber room. It's just not safe too, because you don't know if you can get back. This is going to be a, a lead for Nitro. Okay, and only one missile pack, so it's pretty important to try and stay full on missiles. Oh, hello, Dragon. Yeah, that's not the time for Dragon. No. I mean, we all know that Aussie could easily beat Dragon with just five missiles, but Aussie's not competing in this race. I mean, both of these runners could, too. It's just, it wouldn't be fast to do it now. So. I like it. Aussie passes my compliment on to the racers. Well done, Aussie. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like this has been a very linear map to begin with. Uh, it's had... Like, the the logic algorithm, the item placement algorithm, it kind of tries to be linear. It gives you items that unlock, like, new locations. And there's usually not many new locations that are going to be open. Yeah. And then that'll be the where the next progression item will be. And so it it does tend to be that one item only unlocks one new location that can have the next progression. Um, now we do have two E tanks and gravity suit, so like normally that opens up many many rooms. But we'll see what's actually possible. Bowling. It bombs is next. And it should be top of bowling to the right. Yep. Nitro confirming. So when you enter a room, it will give you the full outline of the room. Uh, to tell you the, the shape of it, but more importantly to help you remember later. Like So when you leave and have to remember what was in a certain area, it'll give you the room outline, then you can recall. And you can't look at what the item is at Wreck Ship Reserve, 
So Nitro's just gonna leave. And take the bombs into the next place, which could be a couple of choices. A spooky missile makes the most sense. And also landing site has two options opened up. Well, there's our first full set of power bombs. Yep. So we are in the early stages of the race. So that means we are looking for the basic types of ammo and basic mobility. So we got a missile pack and a power bomb pack, and that's good for pink doors and orange doors. And gravity suit itself is a lot of movement, but then they also have bombs for IBJs. To let them have that infinite vertical height. Uh, there was a save in Norfair. So where there's a lot of options out of the hubs now, you want to take a save to have like a reset point so that you can either make a risky play and reset back to it, or just make a time-consuming exploration play and reset back if that doesn't work out either. But we are going to get uh, both of these item checks. Missiles. Another missile for Nitro. And then we're going to see the type of item up here. And if it's a major, I think he'll also reveal it. It's, it's a hollow. For those of you that are new and have never seen a map random before, there were three different types of dots here, and it is an energy tank. So there are three different types of dots on a map. There are your regular standard dots, which will always be missiles. You've got hollow dots, which are either supers, power bombs, energy tanks, or reserve tanks. And then your bolden dots, which are your majors. So here we have caution markers on the door blow nitro. And in this case, it means it's a water room. All the down door caution marks are going to be water rooms. But they indicate that you are risking immediately soft locking yourself. Yeah, and it's the way it's the way for the game to tell you before going through the door. There are a ridiculous amount of hollow dots here and two majors. Double hollow dots. Yeah, dots two majors. Are in sand pit. Uh, the one on the right looks gettable. No, that's fine. Supers are speed. Yeah, both lock behind supers. Right, Can't so both ways are going to be locked by supers. It's easy to leave. Bye, Nitro. Maps, very good information, but you can't always do anything with the region that you're in. That means you have to leave and go somewhere else. And that early reset on Simo's side, really setting them back. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it doesn't have power bombs yet, it doesn't have this Norfair map, and if they take a different path, then. Like, what Nitro has been doing has seemed pretty good. Bombs, power bombs, and a map are all really nice to have. Uh, so if Simo does something else, then, you know, that's probably not the progression path. Uh, I think Rate of Ship was Lava Dive. Yes, right of ship uh, was Lava Dive, correct. I don't actually know how possible this is. Well, Simba's was about to find out. Yeah, you can't get through. Okay. With a... With various suit and not gravity, it takes about 100 energy if you do it perfectly. But I wasn't sure if... When it's gravity Novaria. Ooh. It's a nice find. Steam of finding ice, but... There's Take no point in getting it. Alright, Nitro into Brinstar. Let's see what Brinstar holds in the seed. Okay, one major. That's the shot, so Spring Ball major, another major. No bosses yet! Uh, Brinstar map. 
This could be Spring Ball Room. Yep, Spring Ball, and here. I don't know what the other one is. We're... I don't know if we're, like, trying to follow Power Bombs. Uh, Morph Ball Bombs are a progression-type major, but Power Bombs are a filler that can work as progression. Uh, Morph mm -hmm. Bombs led us to the Power Bombs. So, we're not sure which is, like, going to lead to the next step. But there is a major up here, and Gravity plus Morph Bombs gets us here. Oh, spring ball area. Mm. See, no, not finding the path. Nice high see. jump find. Yeah, high jump's very nice, especially having it early. It's going to give you more benefit the longer you have it. Yep. So that means faster room times and also less heat damage in heated rooms because you're moving better. Yep, Nitro, the number 10 seed. Simo, the number 15 seed. This is our first upper bracket round three game. Game two coming up after this. Game three will need to be scheduled. Should they need it? Tomorrow? Ooh, Aussie. Tomorrow we got a good one. Tomorrow. Solsky versus Andy, best of three. Starting at 2 p.m. Eastern. I wonder when they scheduled that. It might have been tonight because it was not there earlier. <laughs> yeah. Because Meadow wanted to uh, update the Map Random website tomorrow. I think I'll tell him to put it off a day. There you go. So shoutouts to the MapRando devs who are, uh, I guess, helping out with uh, allowing us to run the tournament by like not making too many changes to things, uh, like providing the, the seed generation pages and all that. Uh, Absolutely. But just, like first off, of course, for building the randomizer and making it so fun, but then also uh, helping prepare for the tournament itself. Yep. So Nitro is going to go get Ice Beam. Oh yeah, Nitro remembers that it's a Lava Dive. So, Dragon's been found, and it's the only boss so far that we found. I don't yep. know, if I'm Nitro, I beat Jay up to the top right of landing site. What do you think? Uh, I do wonder what he does think. Not doing that, because that does make sense. You would go elsewhere if you like, are looking for the criteria map, and this goes more directly to it. So I do wonder what he's doing. Nobody likes the IBJ, but still. Yeah. Um, this is, I guess this is a randomizer where it helps to like, be good at IBJing because there's different speeds that you can IBJ. Uh, even within single bomb jumps, you can do it uh, fairly slow or pretty quick. But then there's also the double bomb jumps, and those are very, very difficult to do. And so most people aren't going to be doing that, but if you can, it's going to save a lot of time. I you're going to be getting more E-Tanks. Yep, and there you go. Nitro grabbing that energy tank, which is fantastic. Three energy tanks now. Simo into Brinstar from Norfair is going to find Everest. Nitro has already been to this part of Brinstar. Yeah, so Simo has the bombs, has the power bombs. going to get the Brinstar map and then about to get high jump. Uh, as well as two of, the, two of the E tanks, so not seemingly as far behind as before. It's still all about finding the correct path through the seed. And possibly it is. You get enough E-Tanks to start doing Hell Runs. Uh, Metroid Room Logic. Are you aware of Metroid Room Logic? 
I am not. I just know they are really annoying. They are annoying rooms to go through in Map Rando. Right. So what Nitro is doing now would be in Very Hard. That's where you dodge all the Metroids. Uh, in Hard, you would expect it with these items to just get grabbed and run through them. And take a bunch of damage. Gotcha. Oh, hello, Fantoon! Wrecked ship station means Fantoon is right across the way. Right. And this seems okay for getting out. Yep. I sure would like to get them. health drops, but it is like two big heated rooms I need to go through to get back, plus the Metroids. But if he does make it back, then this is gonna be a really good play. Very solid. We're not worried about him dying to the Santune fight at all, no. but the heated rooms after. Running out of missiles is not how you want to play this usually. You want at least one when a new phase starts. You can hold on to that one. And it's more so for when you get a fast. If Fantoon doesn't give you fast, then you're okay losing all your missiles. Mm, almost. Almost. Yep, yeah, almost. More tips for dealing with Fantoon is you want to shoot all the flames. Because that will give you energy drops and missile drops and clear out the flames. So they can't fight back. Uh, Simo is arming missiles, I think. But drops nope. the nitro? Yeah, full energy, so should be able to make it back, okay. But we'll see how important this uh, blue gate path is going to be. Oh, Not... bosses! <laughs> Okay, Drake so, protecting a major, Crage protecting two holodots. Look at the other two majors by uh, Lava Dive. We know one's and we know one's Ice Beam. Oh, uh, so that's Red Tower with the holodot, and they can power bomb all the Rippers away and then IVJ back up, and that might be how you get supers. But I expect them to do the Dragon fight as soon as they can with the major. You can just mock ball under this last Metroid, coming from the right. As you said, Nitro should have plenty of health to get back to Dragon. Though Nitro mm -hmm. could be looking at those other two majors and like, maybe this tank lava dive. Uh, well, right now the Dragon major, it's going to be closer and if you don't do it now, you have to backtrack later. Yeah. Energy and, tank. Well, there's your energy tank to get back and forth through Lava Dive. Yeah, I don't know if he wanted that. Would still rather have supers. Oh, I agree. Would much rather have supers by now. But those are most likely coming pretty soon. I do want to see how he chooses to climb Red Tower. Because there's a fast way with a horizontal bomb jump. Or you can just IBJ from the bottom. But they have high jump. I chose thinking forgot. about it too. I forgot they had high jump, so ignore everything I said about that. Okay, fine. In map rando, save early, save often. We've seen Nitro use a couple of map stations already. Man, one of the thing that really is not talked about, at least I feel like I don't talk about it enough, is while I say save early, save often in map rando, saving often allows you to do pretty cool pivot saves if you just want to go explore an area and you find you can't move you can pivot save back to an area where you're not soft locked into so that's another thing to keep in mind and of course go to the map stations as quickly as you can nitro making a play back here for the ship another save and you see a lot of racers that yeah, this is probably for ice cream 
yeah, we'll periodically go in back to the ship because it gives you all that nice refill. Here we go. Through Lava Dive, trying not to get blasted. Oh, the uh, pit room had another major. So it makes a lot of sense to come over here. And here's the Maybe. old Mother Brain room. We didn't see this before because Simo did not power bombs. It's Ice Wave Beam. Not going to help with Dragon. I mean, that may be what he's looking like for. Oh no, you can't. No charge beam. In fact, wave is gonna make your beam all wavy, and it'll be harder to hit the goops. And nitro. We will later want wave and ice. It's not now. Yep. Should have been able to get back with them, though, I think. Four tanks and uh, gravity suit lava dive? That seems yeah, okay. Twitch chat's wondering why not get ice beam? It's like Aussie said, with ice and wave, it'll make hitting Drake on that much harder because of the well, uniqueness of the wave beam. But then you, you just turn it off. Mm -hmm. Another energy tank. That's insane. So I'm not sure why he didn't keep them. But make sure I'm collecting more items. I haven't looked at the map that closely, so I don't know like what the exit plan is for Criteria. But we do need to get the Stragon kill as soon as we can because it has a major. And then I think uh, Kraid was also up here. Kraid is also up here, correct. And Kraid's still looking for supers as a big item. Yep. 20 missiles instead of the 10 to 15 that Nitro had makes the Dragon fight easier. It's still going to be a longer fight, but it's not gonna be as long as if you only have five or ten. Timo's making up ground mm. though. I don't know that Dragon's actually that much different. Um, like 15 versus 10 is very similar I think uh, because it comes down to how fast you're farming the goop. Um, mm. Like 20 is definitely better and gonna be more comfortable. Uh, yeah so oh, two hollows behind trade. Yeah, so I, I didn't even see the wrecked ship to it there, too. Uh, where was that? Wrecked ship is right here. It's the Krakamaya right. recharge room. Mm -hmm. That's a little awkward. It does help to have a save room right here. Absolutely. Like, going to Kraid for the two hollows makes a ton of sense. Like, for supers. Yep. But it's a little more awkward to get to Dragon now. Once you have these two boss kills, uh, going to wreck ship makes a little more sense than back to Rinse Star and Norfair. There is a quick kill with only missiles. It's is not quite what it looks really? like. Yeah, I think uh, Hoda Ruby threw it off to us. It was a while ago. Nice. Some people go for it. Most don't bother. Nicely done, Nitro. Sino finds Phantom. So Nitro hoping that this is going to be supers. Alpha power bombs vanilla, okay. It's pack super pack. They are In fact had to be a hollow dot level item. Supers, power bombs, or e tanks, or reserve tanks. And there's our first supers. 28 minutes. It's all of our basic ammo. Yep. Oh, save often. This is gonna be a save before going into a new area. That means Nitro is free to make risky decisions or. 
make a suicide run down to the map, or soft lock himself. Get that map memory like set and be fine. And in map rando, when you die or reset, you will keep your map information. Such a great feature. <laughs> the caution on the left side too. The uh, caution on the left door always means the the oink room. It's the sand room with the uh, yapping moss. Unless you're playing with wall jump disabled. Ridley, two majors. Major and Fourth stand one. pit. We may get a sports spawn fight in a minute. Yay! I know that'll make Twitch chat very excited. It's a little bit grand. It's spring ball. Spring ball. Is this going to be a double major? It, it is. is. Spazer and Spring. Spazer and Spring. Uh, I think right now, Simo is following behind Nitro. Yep. So C is the Criteria map. It's going to head over to the Crate Fight and Direct Ship. Get this Spazer and Spring Ball. Uh... There is the option of stopping for Dragon first. So he's still only on five missiles, so maybe not. And I think they can get out with Wave and Ice. But that would be another detour and not like a, a route defining change. It's your spore spawn fight. Okay. So let's see a two round. Not that hard, but there is a trick to it. Uh, the big trick is on the second round and beyond, when support spawn is opening, you can damage it and it won't close right away. So you need to do three supers and one missile worth of damage. Total. Round one was a, a blank. This is 400 damage. Nitro trying to farm some supers. Force spawn does not drop supers. There you go. The more you know. Nice finish. Yep, nice save. Uh, it's pretty hard to hit uh, two projectiles after the first round. Okay, so he's able to do that all three rounds. So Simo getting Wave Beam and Ice. Uh, Simo didn't know about Wave Beam, so that's why they were incentivized to come here, but does know about Ice. And you nice can charge. farm the pirates. Yep, nice charge beam. Uh, so Simo is going to get Ice and Wave now. Nitro is going to have the any percent beam combo should they elect to go back for Ice and Wave. I think you do. I think you get Ice and Wave now and then go to Dragon. This isn't enough equipment for Ridley. Yeah, no. If you had 30 supers, you could attempt it. I'm not sure having stronger beam is actually faster for Dragon. He'd probably still pseudo screw it. If you were using a charge. Yep, very clean lava dive room from Simo. Not even close. Back through the retro burn area from Nitro. So, they're just. Going through the, the zone as it makes sense. 
after getting this map information. They're not running around blind anymore. So they're heading yep. to the majors. And so Dragon goes them, Nitro. That has them both on a very similar path. Simo mm -hmm. only had the five missiles, so it doesn't make sense to do Dragon earlier. Simo dropped out of DJ. Yeah, Simo doing the. It's a three bomb, but only double bomb jump by BJ. So the third bomb is for safety. And because Simo went through pit room, uh, Morph Ballroom is awake. There are four rooms that awaken the planet. Those are going to be the pirate rooms that have gray doors. The so plasma pirate, metal pirate, pit room, and mini crate. Pit room. Old mother brain. Old mother brain. There you go. If you play speedrun categories, then it's the room where you fall in the pits over and over. And there's ah, no way yeah, to get good I'm... enough to avoid that. Oh yeah, I was gonna say my pit room. I'm I'm going through my mind, I'm like, I'm thinking of all the rooms that have pits in them. Now old mother brain makes sense. Yeah, so that was a pseudo screw by Nitro. It does two hundred damage. And so it's pretty strong damage against Dragon. Because you can't always refill all of your ammo. Phaser does 120. It's basically a missile. Dragon. That is defeated. three bosses down, even. And we know where the full we and we know where Ridley is. We don't know about the brain is yet. Yeah, it's a little crazy. There's three of them in Criteria, and then one is right next to the wreck ship. Thirty-six minutes, and for the most part, we've just been running around Criteria. Ah, Prince Star Reserve. I see. Well, if Nitro wanted to skip Wave and Ice, Plasma is all you need. I suppose, as far as the race goes, it's still looking very linear. Um, like, they're going to have all the same items, have the three boss kills, and then what Nitro does next is going to be a decision point on which region to go to. I think Absolutely. he has the Norfair map and the Brinstar map, at least. Correct. Does not have the Meridian map yet. Oh, and has Plasma. Hello. Yeah. So plasma behind Dragon. Yep. Checks out. And then Simo has the Brinstar map, but I don't think they got the the Norfair map. But I think this is a decision point. They're looking right now for a way to kill Ridley. And then you want to do your blind exploration once Ridley is already dead. Because that would be the four bosses. So you see Nitro taking a look. Is that Brinstar information? Nitro just trying to figure out the best way to go forward right now. And folks, if you're enjoying watching this race, again, Game 2 coming up after this. Should the racers need a Game 3, it will be scheduled at a later date. Exclamation point R on the Twitch chat to follow the runners. Exclamation point C to follow the commentary and tracking team. 
it's pretty hard playing three of these in a row. As we saw yesterday, Aussie was a back to back to back for Scott and Timon. And uh, it was four plus hours. It was about four hours worth of rando. Yeah, that's uh, kind of as bad as you can get. Yeah, and game one was pretty jet. Two and three were pretty much a pain. But even if the seeds are kind of fast, it's an entirely new map that's been randomized every time that you have to learn and yep. and like you have to commit it to men memory to be going fast through these rooms too. So it's taxing. So Nitro, are we gonna see a snail clip from Nitro? Maybe. No. Oh. Uh, It'll be a play for the major in the sand pit. I do kind of wonder what Nitro wants specifically. The major. Well, which major though? The speed. Kind of. Okay. I would go with speed. Speed would make a lot of sense, but oh, it's crap. Varia sets, sets you into go mode right away. But with this many E tanks and charge plasma, you're not too far from just more energy giving go mode. Takes a hit. Veers do 50 damage with only gravity. Nitro, on behalf of commentary, tracking, and all of your millions of viewers that are watching, don't you dare! Go farm. Thank you. Energy tank. Clutch. Don't do it, Nitro. Win, but don't die. What else is in Norfair, though? More supers. I wonder why Nitro's staying in Norfair. Me too. Uh, is the plan to get all these hollow dots and then just be able to kill her there? Yeah, so majors we haven't seen yet. X-Ray, Varia, Screw Attack, Space Jump, and Speed Booster. Nice gravity skip. I'm right through that missile pack. And then, uh, so Nitro knows about ice, but doesn't have speed. And those are going to be the Zeb skip items. And if you can't Zeb skip, then you need to account for that when coming up with Mother Brain ammo, even if you have charge. So that'd be a reason to get ice anyway. Be stronger beam damage and Zeb skip. You have to go back to the ship to get to the wreck ship anyway, which the Ridley is, so. Now, Nitro has 20 supers. If Nitro... That's the first time I've seen clipping like that, but okay. Nicely done, Nitro. Yep, very fast. Show off. Has enough to do Ridley right now. Yeah, that's what I was basically debating. Like, do you go for one more super? I know you got the charge plasma, but... Now you got what? Basically eight energy tanks. Yeah. And then having that one reserve is really nice for Ridley. Because you can get grabbed and you're not going to take extra damage if you go to zero and have that reserve while you're grabbed. Mm -hmm. But otherwise you would during the cutscene. And then if you have 100 energy in that reserve, then when the drops appear, you'll have like two energy left and be able to get them in time. But I don't think it's looking so good for Sima. No, that early reset is what's the difference so far in this race. The early reset and uh, taking longer to find the progression path. Yeah, I don't think stopping for wave and ice is going to turn out to be a bad thing, but that is something that they spent time doing too. Yep. For Nitro reset out of those items. Is 
seen most trying to defeat Dragon. And it feels like we spent the entire seed in Criteria. The way that Nitro is running back through it again. It really does, doesn't it? Alright. And Nitro's gonna go back for Wave okay. and Ice. And Sima does ice. have that Nordfair map. So areas we haven't we haven't seen Torian yet at all. That's gotta be where Mother Brain is. Unless Mother Brain's in Meridia. I don't think we've seen the Meridia map station yet. The point is that it's in that general direction. Yep. So it makes sense to go beat Ridley now. Mm hmm Then when you run into Mother Brain, you can just do the fight and finish the seed. Yep. Uh, Simo does play a lot of low ice, and this is more similar to low ice than anything else. I should expect a good Dragon fight here. Uh, charge shots with full new route beam is going to be stronger than a pseudo screw. Nicely done. And Nitro now has all the beams. Best beam combo in the game, Charge, Ice, Wave, and Plasma. Simo has the Any% percent beam combo, Charge, Ice, Wave, Spacer. And it is about and to get just, Plasma. Yep, in the Any% percent route, you don't get Plasma, because it's out of the way. Here, it's not so out of the way. If Plasma no. was behind Draga in Vanilla Map, then Runners would pick it up in New Route. Absolutely. Now it's going to be Simo's turn to find enough items to kill Ridley. Um, I don't know how far the off this is. I'm not so good at full beam math for the Ridley fight. But it seems kind of close. I think full beam damage is 900. Yeah. Supers are twice as good against Ridley. Wait, so supers do double damage against Ridley? They do. Did not know that. Map random specific, like Mother Brain? No, it's uh, vanilla. In vanilla, okay. Hockey saying it's a three to two ratio with charge plasma, ice wave. Well, is heading towards Ridley. Yep. Checks out. Uh, if they can pull off the Ridley fight, then this is essentially the same equipment that Nitro has. That'd be a tie race. Yep. And Nitro took a look at the map, didn't really see a safe station they liked, so they're saving three wrecked ship before they go fight Ridley. Yeah, it's going to be much safer for Nitro. Yep. It, it does come down to how many body hits you take. Dimensive, that's correct. We have not seen Mother Brain's location yet. We also haven't seen Torian or the Meridian map station yet. Now there's one hit for Nitro. I think in the, the practice... Like free race practice that we see runners do. There's a lot of Ridley fights that happen there. This game will we'll be really good at being a suitless Ridley and as well as various types of weaponry. There you go. Kill. Good Ridley fight from Nitro. Nitro has that reserve, so this is not a problem. Good job, Nitro. Now Nitro just needs to go find Mother Brain. Simo also onto the Ridley fight. However, they're at a much bigger disadvantage. Less energy tanks and less supers. Um, this run is possible. Oh, I got kicked. 
I don't think Ridley was dead, but Simo's probably doing the math on the number of shots he need. I don't think Simo was close to beating Ridley in that fight. I think it was two shots away. I also like, can't do the... Can't do the math, yeah. I'm gonna say there. Yeah, he got the second color change, true. So we'll see what they can do. Nice use of plasma. I think it's, what, 20 shots yeah. to beat Ridley? Yeah, and then 10 supers. So it's more like 13, 12 shots. Fourteen shots. But Nitro is onto the Mother Brain Hunt. Uh, that's a dead red light. Oh, a Simo's through. Nice done, Simo. So that tied up the race a ton. Oh, absolutely. Nitro into Meridia. Oh, Simo. Just in time. Yeah, that's what happens every time if you have that one reserve. Simo made it out with less than 10 energy before grabbing the other uh, re energy refill. So nicely done, Simo. So now it's a race to whoever finds Mother Brain first. Yep. We and you have to go through Meridia. I don't think we have. I don't think there's anything by North here. So Meridia is the path. But we're looking for either Mother Brain or Torian. I guess start with the map, because the map will reveal all. Absolutely. Is this not the lower acid chaser? Surely not. It is. Yeah. Why would Nitro do that? I don't know. Nitro did it for funsies. Yeah, it's gonna be costly. Uh, crab room is really slow. That is true. I call it the maze room. Yeah, the crab maze. Crab maze! Not to be confused with crab mayonnaise. Which, if someone wants to invent that, could probably make a lot of money. Was that speed locked up there? They have all the major that they've seen, right? They don't. We haven't seen. Mm -hmm. We we haven't seen X-ray, Varia, Screw Attack, Space Jump, and Speed Booster. I mean that Brinstar has a major that they haven't collected yet, and I think I just saw a speed lock so. room leading to the map. Golden Torizo. It's a missile. Uh, in Norfair, we saw Grapple. And maybe there's another. Hold a Ruby Room. In this situation, you can softlock yourself, like, intentionally heading towards Mother Brain. And then, after the fight, you get all the items so you can get out. So you don't have to worry about going down this uh, speedless speedway that Nitro is doing. It is very important that he has a save set up, though, in case this is nothing. But in this situation, we don't need to go back to the ship. Uh, we're going straight to Mother Brain. Yep. The soft walking doesn't matter. Yeah, Nitro went to the Three Musketeers room. Clutch yeah. energy tank find. Had a crystal flash ready. But gonna take the E tank. Oh, no. oh, there are a lot of heated rooms here, Rossi. Acid dive room. I find you can always go above acid dive room. So I think that's what we'll see. Uh, this much health. It would be very close. I don't think they could make it. 
It is very powerful acid. But coming above is just a lot safer. Nigel, we'll take a quick save. Getting closer and closer to that map room. Free aqueduct. And towards Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Yeah, the soft lock going left. Get to the map, or you got right. Um, I guess we can talk about soft locks a little bit. The so nitro is coming down through some crumble blocks to get this way, and that means, uh, like, doesn't have a way back by going up. So you want to find out how you're meant to return, and that would be by going through probably the the acid dive room, uh, because that would be effectively one way from the other direction, going the other way as a return route. Here we go. Is our map? For, is it Meridia? Is it Torian? There's the Torian door. That's Torian. That's where the racers need to go. That is also after uh, Speedless Speedway. So mm -hmm. sometimes I have to do that too. Nitro reset. Hold on. Reset. Hold on. They're both at the ship at the same time. Oh, we got ourselves a closer race than before. They are dead even. Nitro has the the map, and that is a rather big advantage. But they're positionally tied. So we know that they have to speed the speedway and then go up. And that's kind of what we're watching for on both of them. It was in the lower part of Meridia. And I sure did this earlier. It's where the, the crab maze was. So check the map. It knows not to go down there. Oh, um, boy, Simo. Yeah, don't go back to pre-Ridley. Oh, to Ruby, though. That's an interesting option. Okay, here we go. Nitro in Satorian. So Nitro still has a pretty small lead. Asima's going the right way. That's big. Absolutely. Up time. Like just blindly going the correct way instead of towards the map. Uh, I guess the strategy is to blind check for Mother Brain. And so you want to look for left doors. You can look for right doors, but you want doors that have a clear return path that's going to be nearby. So left doors with another left door above it type of thing. Um, I don't think Croc Escape is too likely. 
it could happen. Plus, they've already seen all the, the surrounding rooms. Yeah. Steamo's Indatorian. Nitro takes a save. Uh, Simo is right at the map. Yeah. At this happen. Big. attack. So did Simo just go directly for the map and Nitro is been checking doors that hasn't been paying off? What an unfun map to, to reach, actually. You have to go all the way around it in a spiral. And now Nitro gets to the, the map room, which is actually a very big room. And it could be that Simo's ahead. There's Mother Brain. <laughs> wow, they went right. It's right, right next to the entrance. Crazy. So now Nitro was looking gonna... at every left door, but not the right doors. Yep, nice screw attack. It's not going to make much of a difference. Simo has the pivotal information that Nitro doesn't have. This is going to come down the wire. Yeah, right now Nitro is going to be getting that map too. So it'll just be purely a race. And Nitro's uh, behind. It. Yeah, Nitro's behind. Same items, same information. Uh, Simo has to be more careful, has barely enough health. He needs 601 health to defeat Mother Ring without barrier. So he has that 98 to spare. Plus, isn't full and is in a heated room. So hopefully they can resolve that. Uh, how does Simo get energy back? And Crystal Flash, but then doesn't have ammo for glass. Or, yeah, wouldn't have ammo for glass. And that's a neat tank. Uh, that's a refill. So that's going to save Simo's run. Uh, this sure. is two rooms ahead, about. Two kind of slow rooms ahead. All right. <laughs> Could this seriously come down to the escape? Uh, we'll see. So Nitro is getting more items, looking for a refill as well. Yeah. So not likely going to come down to the escape. No, Nitro's going to get the energy tank, and there you go. But Simo is going to be ahead by Simo's ahead by about a... forty-five seconds. We've seen escape suffer. We really have. We've seen. Racers not being able to get back to the ships on time. And that could be the racer side of here, but we're going to find out. Yeah. Simo taking on Mother Brain with no problem. Nitro gets yeah, the ice. No problem skin. at all. So I guess through the Mother Brain fight. I just think it was more likely for Simo to die to Mother Brain than to lose enough time on the escape. But yeah. we've certainly seen this escape. If you do have to reset, then this is... They clearly switch positions. This is going to be exciting. One minute escape timer. One minute. So you just head straight down. There'll be Meridia. Uh, and then run back through Meridia to get to Criteria. After the Mother Brain fight, you get Speed Booster because it gives you all the items. So they actually can take this path. Oh, there was another path back through GT. Um, I guess I need to mention now that uh, Speedless Speedway is not in hard, but with this map layout on a higher difficulty, speed could have been, like Speedless Speedway could have been required. Not here. And uh, Nitro just finishing the Mother Brain fight now. We're gonna be 
25 seconds behind. And already back in Criteria. Yep, there's about a 45 second difference for these racers. And here we go. Simo's going to make with the going through Criteria. Back through the right side wrecked ship room. It's going to be a play right here through into landing site. And just like yeah, that. We're already there. Get your GGs in chat. Simo grabs this game back by the throat and rips it away from Nitro. Simo, after being down several minutes, comes back and defeats Nitro. Yeah, I don't know Looks how like they did it. About that 45 was 45 second difference. It was such a comeback. Really I saved was, was... a ton of time by not picking up extra items for Ridley. And that just did a, a flawless yeah, Ridley it. fight. And it was the double reset back to the ship that evened it up. Yep. And then uh, came down to the, the Mother Brain Hunt. Absolutely. I'm sure you work out better. All right, folks. Don't go anywhere. Simo versus Nitro. Game two coming up in about 10 minutes. Aussie's got you on commentary for that one. I will see you all in the next mission.